success project. Students, teaching, resilience to end significant stress. Community problems can be invisible. Invisible problems can consume people. Community problems can be highlighted by global issues. We could not have predicted the tragedies that have fallen on the world since we had started this project. Bushfires that raced across Australia, destroying homes and lives, expanses of land and precious native wildlife. No one was prepared for COVID-19. When our project started, it had not even spread outside of China. During our early research, this quote caused us to stop and think. One in eight children who have been exposed to bushfires experience trauma and stress. This may include experiencing the fire in person or through seeing or reading about them in the news reports. While people rushed to help, the solving of visible physical problems was the main focus. This included providing shelter, donating money, providing essential items such as food and water to people who were stranded or isolated, and distributing medical supplies or care. When people see something wrong, they act on it. When a problem is invisible, people can assume everything is okay. Stress is a worldwide problem that needs to be fixed immediately. It is growing rapidly in every community. If it, not, if it is not treated at an early stage, it can cause lifelong health problems, including mental health issues, cardiovascular diseases, and gastrointestinal problems. Stress builds up over time and can be like a stain. If you don't treat it early, it will scar the fabric and become unfixable. Seeing the impact that the bushfires and COVID had, we wanted our underlying problem to focus on this invisible problem that was not being addressed. We decided that our target was to help students with stress. Over time and with much discussion, our underlying problem became, given so many children may experience stress as a result of bushfires, COVID-19 or other issues, how might we improve children's resilience to fight against stress in order to reduce the impact on their mental health? One concern we had was for our kindy buddies. We were concerned that they would find COVID stressful. We were also worried they might find it hard to come back to school. As a short-term solution, we had a whole grade write a letter to their kindy buddy while on remote learning and to create a poster for them for their first day back. This had the impact of making the kindies feel welcomed, included, remembered and cared about when they came back to school. It made us seem like people who, who they feel comfortable with and could talk to if they were feeling stressed at school. As a team, we decided that building a website would be a sensible choice in the circumstances we were working in. Internet use is very popular at the moment, especially in COVID times. This was a good opportunity to widen our reach of people to inform about resilience and stress. We developed and launched our website, sharing it with our school and community. We are using the school's Connect system and the school Facebook page to promote it. We have sent details of our project to the local, state and federal members of parliament as this could spread the word about it. Word of mouth recommendations have also been really important. As people within our school find it really helpful, they will share it with the others and use of our site will increase. We can monitor how many people look at the site and keep improving the site by responding to the feedback forms. Why don't you check out our website at www.thestressproject.wcc.nsw.edu.au The activities and information we find could really help you or someone you know. In fact, in our follow-up survey, 100% of teachers and 93% of students reported that our website was helpful. We wanted to partner with an organisation that shared our goals and beliefs. We created a fundraiser, Kids Helpline, who seek to help kids who are stressed and seek to build their resilience. We chose to design and sell colouring books in our community. We selected colouring books because research shows that colouring in can help ease stress. We sold 151 books and raised $755. Kids Helpline will use this money to continue their support of kids across Australia. It is impossible to eliminate stress completely when we exist in an ever-changing world that brings anything to your doorstep. Bushfires, COVID-19 and floods are evidence of this. However, through this project we found multiple ways to build resilience in the students within our community. Through building resilience, we also helped students develop ways to cope with stress. This will guide them down the path of a life where they can cope with the challenges and obstacles they experience. With the resilience we have built, stress will no longer be an invisible assassin, impacting the lives of many children in our community. We are the Stress Project. Students who have taught 
resilience to unsignificant stress.